So in this video, I'm going to tell you the top 10 must-sees for the North Coast 500 in 2022. Just wait until you see what's at number one. You really can't miss this place. My name's Robbie Romes and I make no fuss travel documentaries and tips videos. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel and turning on notifications. So if you watch my 2021 top 10 must-sees, you'll notice I've got some new additions and there's a couple you really can't miss. So let's get into the top 10 must-sees for the North Coast 500 in 2022. Number 10, Akmalvik Beach. Becoming one of the most iconic beaches on the North Coast 500, you can find this place on the awesome Drumbeg Loop in between Clactol and Loch Inver. If you visit on the right day, you could easily convince yourself that you're in the Caribbean. White sands and turquoise waters. And if you're feeling brave enough and fancy taking a dip in the North Sea, don't forget to pack your speedos. Next up in number 9, the Big Burn Walk at Golsby. Now this is a hidden gem that often gets missed. This is a stunning woodland walk alongside a river with multiple stunning waterfalls and bridges. Honestly, I think you'll be blown away with the sheer beauty of this place. So we visited in mid-November where the autumnal colours made this place even more special. And if there's any budding Instagrammers out there, you can get some amazing shots near some of the waterfalls. The total walk's about three kilometres, which will take you just over an hour don't forget to factor in time to take some photos and videos along the way. And there we have it, the big burn walk. Just got a leaf down my back. Um, I have to say, I, I'm super impressed with that. I wasn't sure what to expect. Uh, I haven't really looked into any of the photos or Instagrams or anything like that. But I would say that's on a par with the fairy den walk on the Black Isle, which is definitely something you should do if you've got the time. Uh, but this was definitely on a par. Um, a, a lot of the bridges that cross the stream that just look epic and I think at this time of year with all the leaves and that it just looks even better so if you are coming out of season it's a great place if you come in, in in the summer definitely a great place just up the road from Dornoch I would give it a 9 out of 10 I think it's a, a pretty good place to stop off in at number 8 is Castle Sinclair located just a few miles north of Wick this is an absolute must see to get there, follow the path from the car park for around 10 minutes to see the spectacular castle sat on the cliff edge providing great views out to sea. The original castle dated back to the 14th century and was revamped in the 17th century. Castle Sinclair is a great place for exploring and ideal to get some cool photos. Number 7, Fairy Glen Falls. So you can find these on the Black Isle near Inverness where you'll follow an incredible woodland trail to a climax of two main waterfalls. Honestly, this place is so underrated and it's so good if you have kids or dogs. The round walk takes about 45 minutes and we'll see you covering a total distance of about 1.5 miles. If you go there as a couple, it could also be classed as uh, slightly romantic. So who knows, maybe allow time for a little smoochy smooch. So we're just walking back to the car. Uh, the fairy grant was just pretty epic to be honest. I think Jazz has just said like, the best waterfall we've seen in the whole of the UK. Uh, we haven't seen many, but that was that was awesome. And number six, a new entry for 2022, Ardvrick Castle. The remaining castle ruins stand on a rocky island jutting out of the mighty Loch Assynt, located just around the corner from the Carlescu Bridge. The dramatic backdrop and surrounding mountains makes for an incredible photo, and this place is a guaranteed must-see when you do the North Coast 500. A good thing about this place is that there are multiple parking stops on the A837 which offer different views of the castle. So we've just got to halfway and we've got another 5 incredible destinations coming right up. But first I'm going to talk about the sponsor for this video which is my own North Coast 500 guidebook which is now available to order using the link in the description below. So after almost a year in the making this is the ultimate no fuss North Coast 500 guidebook featuring incredible locations, practical tips and stress saving hacks to ensure your experience on the route is simply unforgettable. This in-depth book has everything you could possibly ever need to plan your trip from itineraries to budgeting. I've even added some of my hilarious personal experiences in there. And whilst there are some great North Coast 500 guidebooks out there currently, I don't think there's anything quite like this in terms of stress saving hacks, complete itineraries, and there's even space for you to write your own travel journal. So make sure you get a copy of my North Coast 500 guidebook now using the link in the description. And the first 50 people to order the book will also get a copy of my North Coast 500 A2 Big Map, which is actually worth $6.99. And now let's get back into it. Number five, 
the Carlescu Bridge. This is one of the most iconic sites on the North Coast 500. It was actually opened in 1984 by the Queen and what makes Carlescu Bridge so special windy. is the surrounding scenery. There's huge mountains, vast locks and rugged vistas that simply dwarf the bridge. So we've just pulled in at the magnificent Carlescu Bridge. Um, it was just one of the places when we stopped here last time. It just blows your mind. It's not so much the bridge, which is like pretty epic in its own right. It's just the surrounding scenery and mountains and stuff. And number four in the North Coast 500 must-sees for 2022 is Straffy Bay, one of my all-time favourite beaches. This untouched paradise is hidden behind the brow of a hill. Once you get a glimpse of this beach, you'll see why I've ranked it at number four. Basically, over the ridge of that hill there is where the beach is. So people might come here and not actually know there's an incredible beach, but there actually is. But trust me, it's worth coming here to get a photo. So I'm just gonna have a quick look and uh, see if it's as beautiful as we remember. So yeah, Straffy Beach, just as beautiful as I remembered. In number three, Torridon. So the road from Ben Eyre to Torridon has to be one of the most scenic on the entire route, if not probably the whole world. Huge mountains, powerful locks, and an abundance of wildlife make this place unbelievable. If you pull into the car park for Ben Eyre on the Torridon side, you might just be able to see some red deer, including Callum the Stag. <laughs> We've heard about you, mate. Ah, you want some food? You're a good looking thing, ain't you? The drive through this Torridon estate is just world class. It's probably one of the best roads in the entire world. It's got to be in like the top. 20 roads in the world or something like that. It's just so picturesque. And in this time of year with the autumnal colors, oh man. And then number two for 2022, all the twos, is the Balatnabar Pass. So this is the famous winding single track mountain pass that strikes fear into the most confident of drivers. Actually, this place isn't that scary if you're patient and keep your eyes on the road. You'll get amazing views no matter which way you do the pass, and you might even be able to spot some deer along the way. This is the North Coast 500's ultimate road. So let me know in the comments down below, have you driven over this road? Are you brave enough to drive over this road? Just let me know below. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, in first place for the top 10 must sees in 2022 on the North Coast 500, God, that's a mouthful, is the incredible Wading Widow Falls. Located near the Kailescu Bridge, this waterfall spills 50 feet from the huge lot in the Gamic and crashes into the ridge below. I'm not kidding you, this has to be one of the UK's most amazing waterfalls. To get to the falls from below, use the small parking area marked on Google Maps. You won't actually see the falls from here, but follow the path along the ridge to the left hand side for around 10 minutes and you'll get there. Be sure to take care along the path, you'll need to scramble over some rocks in places. But yeah, enjoy this incredible, incredible location. But wait, don't go just yet. I've got one more destination for you. I'm gonna call this the bonus destination, which is Sango Sands Bay. So yeah, I'm giving you one extra for free here. Maybe I accidentally forgot it. Anyway, Sango Sands is a complete must-see along the route. Write it down, put it in Google Maps. You'll be in awe of the remarkable views across the bay from the viewpoint. The water is blue, the sands are white. What more do you need on the North Coast 500? And so there we have it, the top 10 must sees in 2022 on the North Coast 500. If you're heading to the North Coast 500 this year, I hope you have an amazing time and don't forget to plan ahead. I've got more North Coast 500 and general travel videos coming up soon, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also, if you haven't bought my North Coast 500 guidebook yet, what are you playing at? The link is in the description. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you.